Barney and Friends is an American children's television series targeted at young children aged 2 to 7, created by Cheryl Leach. The series premiered on PBS on April 6, 1992. The series features the title character Barney, a purple anthropomorphic Tyrannosaurus Rex who conveys educational messages through songs and small dance routines with a friendly, huggable, and optimistic attitude. The series ended. On November 2, 2010, although new videos were still released on various dates after the last episode aired. Reruns aired on Sprout from 2005 until 2015, and from December 17, 2018, onward on Sprout's successor network, Universal Kids. In 2015, a revival was announced to premiere in 2017, but was delayed into an undated launch. On October 18, 2019, Mattel Films announced that a second Barney film was to be produced, British actor Daniel Kaluuya's production company was involved. Barney was created by Cheryl Leach of Dallas, Texas. She came up with the idea of a children's program after noticing that her son outgrew We Sing Together, and then recognizing that there were no videos to appeal to her son. Leach then brought together a team who created a series of home videos, Barney and the Backyard Gang, initially released in 1988. The first three videos starred actress Sandy Duncan. One day in 1991, the daughter of Connecticut Public Television executive Larry Rifkin rented one of the videos and was mesmerized by it. Rifkin thought the concept could be developed for PBS. Rifkin thought Barney had appeal because he was not as neurotic as Big Bird. He pitched it to CPTV president Jerry Franklin, whose preschool son also fell in love with it. Franklin and Rifkin pitched the idea to all of their colleagues with preschoolers, and they all agreed that kids would love a Barney show. Franklin and Rifkin convinced Leach to let CPTV revamp the concept for television. The show debuted as Barney and Friends in 1992. The series was produced by CPTV and Lyric Studios, later bought by Hit Entertainment. Although the show was a runaway hit, PBS initially opted not to provide funding beyond the initial 30-episode run. When Rifkin and other CPTV executives learned this, they wrote letters to their fellow PBS member stations urging them to get PBS to reconsider. The Lions Group, meanwhile, sent out notices through the Barney Fan Club, telling parents to write letters and make phone calls to their local PBS stations to show their support for Barney and Friends. By the time of the yearly member stations meeting, station executives across the country were up in arms over the prospect of one of their most popular shows being cancelled. Faced with an atmosphere that Rifkin later described as like an insurrection, PBS ultimately relented. For several years, the show was taped at the Color Dynamics Studios facility at Greenville Avenue and Bethany Drive in Allen, Texas, after which it moved to the studios at Las Colinas in Irving, Texas, and then Carrollton, a suburb of Dallas. The TV series and videos are currently distributed by Nine Story Media Group, Hit Entertainment, and Universal Studios, while the TV series was produced by WNET from 2006 to 2010. The series opens with the theme song, over clips from various episodes, and the title card before it dissolves into the school. The children are seen doing an activity, occasionally relating to the episode's topic. The children imagine something and Barney comes to life from a plush doll, transforming into the real Barney, how he appears in the children's imaginations. Here, the main plot of the episode takes place. Barney and the children learn about the main topic of the episode, with Baby Bop, BJ, or Riff appearing during the episode and numerous songs themed relating to the subject featured in the series. The roles of Baby Bop, BJ, and Riff have grown larger in later seasons and later episodes venture outside of the school to other places within the neighborhood, and in season 13, to other countries around the world. Barney concludes with I love you before he dissolves back into his original stuffed form and winks to the audience. After the children discuss what they have learned, the sequence cuts to Barney says, in seasons 1 to 8 and 12 only, where Barney, who is off-screen, narrates what he and his friends had done that day, along with still snapshots from the episode. Then Barney signs off before the credits roll. In seasons 3 to 8 and 12, he later appeared on screen by saying, and remember, I love you, and waved goodbye before the credits roll. Other than the United States, the series has aired in Canada, Mexico, and Latin America, France, Ireland, Italy, Malaysia, Spain, 
the United Kingdom, Japan, on English-based DVDs under the name Let's Play with Barney in English, Bonnie to Ego de Asabo, and on television as simply Barney and Friends, and Bonnie and Ofurenza, the Philippines, Turkey, Australia, and New Zealand, among others. Australian-based company and distributor Southern Star handled non-US rights to the series from the mid-90s until 2001 when Hit revoked the deal after acquiring Lyric. Two known co-productions of Barney and Friends have been produced outside of the US. The Israeli co-production Hebrew, Hashavram Shel Barney, The Friends of Barney, produced from 1997 to 1999 in Tel Aviv, Israel, was the first of these. Rather than dubbing the original American episodes from seasons 1 to 3, the episodes were adapted with a unique set and exclusive child actors. The second co-production was broadcast in South Korea from 2001 to 2003 on KBS, under the name, Banawiching Udul, Barney and Friends. This one, however, adapted the first six seasons, including the first three that the Israel co-production did. Several people have concluded that episodes contain a great deal of age-appropriate educational material, including Yale University researchers Dorothy and Jerome Singer, who called the program a model of what preschool television should be. Others have criticized the show for a lack of educational value, as well as being repetitive. The show is often cited as a contributing factor to the perceived sense of entitlement seen in millennials, who grew up watching the show. One specific criticism is, his shows do not assist children in learning to deal with negative feelings and emotions. As one commentator puts it, the real danger from Barney is denial, the refusal to recognize the existence of unpleasant realities. For along with his steady diet of giggles and unconditional love, Barney offers our children a one-dimensional world where everyone must be happy and everything must be resolved right away. The creator and performer of the San Diego chicken mascot, Ted Janula's called Barney a ubiquitous and insipid creature in a 1999 court case. Barney and Friends ranked number 50 on TV Guide's 2002 list of the 50 worst TV shows of all time. The show has also been parroted in many forms, see anti-Barney humor. In a 1993 newspaper article, Jerry Franklin, the head of Connecticut Public Television, which co-produced Barney at the time, was quoted thus, when adults say they do not like Barney, Franklin says, in a way, we take that as a compliment. Barney is not designed for parents, whereas Sesame Street is designed for parents and children. We made a conscious decision to make Barney simple. It is not a program for parents. Barney relates to preschoolers. We think he speaks to them at their level, which is in simple terms and with music. Howard Blumenthal, producer of Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego, said even the most knowledgeable people, can't really understand why that Barney phenomenon happened and another didn't. A majority of the albums of Barney and Friends feature Bob West as the voice of Barney, however, the recent album The Land of Make Believe has Dean Wentz voice. Barney's song I Love You was among those used by interrogators at Guantanamo Bay detention camp to coerce detainees. The similar use of I Love You to inflict psychological stress on Iraqi prisoners of war was examined by John Ronson in his 2004 book The Men Who Stare at Goats. Throughout the series' run, over 100 children have appeared in the series, with most of them from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Only a small portion of these actors have made notable appearances in media since their roles, including, Danielle Vega, played Kim from season 3 to season 6, Demi Lovato, played Angela from season 7 to season 8. Selena Gomez, played Gianna from season 7 to season 8. Debbie Ryan, played Debbie in season 10. Madison Pettis, played Bridget in season 10. A lot of puppets appeared in many seasons. The most notable puppets were, Scooter. McNetty, a brown squirrel, seasons, 4 to 6, 1997 to 2000. Miss Etiquette, a purple bird, seasons, 4 to 6. 1997 to 2000, Booker T. Bookworm, an orange worm with interests in books, season 5, 1998 to 1999, Barney, voiced by Bob West in 1992 to 2000, and Dean Went in 2001 to 2010. People who wore the Barney suit included David Joyner from 1991 to 2001 and Carrie Stinson. The main character is a purple and green Tyrannosaurus in stuffed animal likeness who comes to life through a child's imagination. His theme song is Barney is a Dinosaur, whose tune is based on Yankee Doodle. 
Varney often quotes things as being super de duper. 